So who is John Wolford? So if you haven't heard, Jared Goff will not be playing Week 17, which is a big game for the Rams. I mean, if they lose it, they could end up on the outside of the playoffs, which is crazy to think considering where they were a couple weeks ago. Now no Jared Goff. Can John Wolford sort of find a way to at least get them into the postseason? And who knows what happens once they get there? Because, you know, they said Goff might be able to come back. It's definitely up in the air. But I really wanted to break down how good is he. There isn't that much tape of him, so we're actually going to go watch some AAF tape in this video. The reasoning being that's the most recent tape he has. He was the starting quarterback for the Arizona Hot Shots. I watched every game I could find. I could only find the first four games of the eight-game season in full, so that's all I, I got. So we're dealing with a bit of a small sample size those four games, but I think I have a pretty good handle on who he is to some degree. So first, we'll show this play. It's going to be a cover four zone that he's going up against, and so that means that, you know, there's three players over the middle of the field, three Salt Lake defenders over the middle of the field, and this is a third down and nine, so that's the situation. And once Wolford takes the snap, you notice that all three Salt Lake players, uh, they are now covering uh, an Arizona player, a hot shot uh, over the middle of the field. Sorry, these names crack me up. But you see that Wolford, he has an opening over the middle that he could run. And what this play is going to show, and the reason I'm bringing it up, is it's going to show his speed. The guy's an athlete. He really is. Watch how he is able to take off. He has good speed there, good wheels, gets the first down, and protects himself. Uh, that's a big big play there. And, you know, that kind of just goes to show, okay, he's an athlete. He can move. And that matters because of this play. This play is going to be a good example of showing what I think will actually come in handy for the LA Rams. These are things that the Rams do to some degree. So this is a man coverage play, a receiver running over the middle. That part's nothing too crazy. Uh, the route will get open probably a little bit later on in it, you know, once it gets past the middle of the field. But the, again, the reason why I want to show this play is because of what's going to happen. Wolford takes the snap, and he's going to get outside the pocket, and so he's going to be on the run here. So he's throwing on the run. There is an opening. This is open. Uh, and so Wolford can make this throw, but he's on the run. And the reason why I want to show that is because how often do we see these designed rollouts with the LA Rams? And I actually think that's kind of something interesting where... You know, Jared Goff, he, I think he's a fine quarterback. I think he's a good quarterback. Uh, I also think that he's clearly kind of a weird fit for this system, just in the sense that with all these quarterback rollouts and stuff, one of the criticisms of Goff is he isn't necessarily the most athletic. But Wolford is, and watch that throw. Uh, it, it wasn't complete, but it was a really accurate throw, and he can throw on to run, which I do think could potentially come in handy, or not. Who knows? But that's something that I think could come in handy with some of these rollouts. This plays another one. Uh, the camera angle is horrible, so I'm just going to show a little diagram on the screen that I made in MS Paint uh, because that seems to be the way easier way to show it to you guys as opposed to trying to make a graphic on the really horrible camera angle. I don't know what they were thinking with that camera angle. The AAF, I love them. They tried some things. Anyways, the way this play works is Wolford takes a snap. He fakes a handoff to his running back to the right. He rolls out to his left. The two receivers to his right will also roll to his left. Uh, the receiver to his left is going to run a go route. And he also has a tight end who's kind of just a, a check down route in that area. Let me ask you, does this remind you of anything? Of course it does. This is right out of the Rams playbook. This is something the Rams do a ton, which I imagine is partially why Sean McVay decided, yeah, let's get Wolford because he probably... He Honestly, he can run these plays pretty well. As you see, he's going to fake this handoff, and he's going to end up just taking the check down. But it's not easy to make those types of throws on the run, and he threw it in a way that allowed his tight end to be able to you know, make the catch, turn up field, and run for more yards, which is a big deal in that offense. So I do think that that's a pretty significant play. I do. One last thing I like about Wolford, and, and I think this is part of why he has the job, is because he can also make these types of plays, where it's man coverage that Salt Lake is in, uh, he's going to run a play action, and then to his right, and actually this isn't even a play action, it looks like it's an RPO, so he has the option to hand the ball off, or he can throw it to his right, and typically if this is man coverage, you love to, uh, you know, not hand it off, and instead throw it to, to the slant route to his right, that will probably get open in this situation, and watch, as you see, he takes a snap, fakes a handoff, 
there's a wide open receiver right here. This is perfect. He can easily make this throw. So again, in this situation, it's whatever. He should make this throw. If he misses this throw, he would have never gotten uh, a chance to be an NFL quarterback, but he, he's going to make this throw. That's not why I'm bringing it up. It's more so watch the accuracy. Perfectly accurate and got there in a hurry too. I do feel like that's one of the things that I, I think is a bit uh, I'm a bit hesitant to give him too much credit for, though, is the fact that it got there in a hurry because he's been very inconsistent with his arm talent. Sometimes he can make a really good throw. Other times, not so much. Like on this one, it's going to be a cover two zone. He has a receiver that's going to eventually get into a gap in coverage. He's going to have to kind of throw it through a, th a window in between two Salt Lake players over the middle of the field. But that's how this is going to work. So Wolford takes the snap, and really right here, you see that this could end up getting open because the other Salt Lake player is, you know, currently at the hash marks on the left, so there's plenty of room. All that has to happen is for Wolford's receiver to get open in that gap in coverage. That's what he's waiting for here. So he's going to hit his spot, and I think that's fine. Really, my concern is isn't necessarily the accuracy, it's going to be the arm strength. Watch how it just takes a little bit of time to get there and ends up getting batted away. And I do feel like if he threw it quicker, that could have easily been, not easily, but there is a chance that that could have been a completion instead of just batted away. I, I do. I think that that's an issue. Again, I am dealing with a small sample size, so that should factor in for everything positive and negative I'm saying. But at the same time, uh, I do think that that looks to be an issue. Jared Goff, if he makes that throw, it's a completion. It is. So it's a tough play either way. But it is something you can live with. I mean, that's not the end of the world by any means. This play is interesting. So this is something that's going to help his stats out. But I'm not sure if I'm that impressed by it. What I mean is it's a cover four zone. So quarters coverage. They have a quarters beater where, you know, one receiver runs a, a sort of a deep curl route, which the goal is to get the Salt Lake player who's second from the right to eventually go in and then you have another player kind of get into that zone and he could get open. Wolford takes the snap and what you notice is that it's working out perfectly. I mean look at this there is just this is an easy throw for Wolford to make. This is not a high degree of difficulty throw whatsoever. Still that being said Wolford made the throw they got a big completion there but that's kind of my concern with sort of using his stats from the AAF is without a doubt part of his numbers were a bit inflated. They just were. The defenses aren't the same, but you can say the same thing for a quarterback in college. It's not, I'm not trying to like completely uh, harp on it, but I do think that that was a lot of his deep passes. To me, his deep ball is a complete unknown because a lot of the times he completed deep balls, they weren't necessarily these incredible plays. They were instead uh, usually defensive breakdowns and guys getting wide open. That doesn't necessarily mean he's bad at it. It's just an unknown for me. I don't know. One last play, this one. This one is another, I think, concerning play because one of the things that I'm hearing people talk about is, well, hey, maybe with Wolford, he won't make just those boneheaded decisions that Goff would make because that's kind of the thing about Goff is uh, his arm talent is incredible. Like whatever you want to say about him, even if you're a Goff hater, you can't deny his arm talent is fantastic. It's usually sometimes the upstairs stuff that can drive Rams fans crazy. However, it's not like Wolford won't make dumb decisions himself. This play is a great example. It's a cover three zone. He's going to run a play action and then he's going to try to hit a receiver running a slant route to his right. That's the way it's going to work, and the play action itself is going to work out well. As you see, there's a little line on the screen that they drew, and then also you notice that uh, the player who is in charge of covering sort of the quadrant furthest to the right is completely moved in because he thought it was going to be a running play. Now he's just trying to rush the passer. There is kind of a window right here, but there's a linebacker who now reads it, and he knows where to throw it to. Wolford is totally steering him down, so that obviously doesn't help, and he's going to try and see if he can make the play. Wolford throws it. It gets picked. Just not great. Uh, just not great, and you know, if Jared Goff made that throw, everyone would kill him. I think rightfully so. Now, Wolford made the throw, uh, so you know, he's going to do stuff like that. It's going to happen, but the thing is, you're probably not going to have Wolford play 16 games for you, so over the course of a season, that certainly would happen. But there were plenty of games that he played where that didn't happen. So without a doubt, I would think that there's a real chance that when he makes, uh, you know, you could see him not making a single mistake like this. I could also see him making like three mistakes like this and having it go completely wrong. I don't think that's out of the question either. I my gut says he should be fine. He could be okay. This is my biggest concern is he could just make like a few mistakes like this and completely throw 
LA added a game, which I don't think will happen, but it is a real possibility. My closing remarks is I think he's a better athlete than Goff. He can run a lot better. Uh, so I think that the rushing game, you could even see them run some maybe RPOs with Wolford, which could be interesting. I think that he's pretty good in those intermediate plays, although he doesn't quite have the arm strength to really zip it through tight windows the way other quarterbacks do. I haven't seen enough from his arm talent deep down the field to really trust him to be able to make those throws. And if I'm Sean McVay, I probably don't have him trying to make those throws. But at the same time, Sean McVay isn't exactly, you know, his system isn't exactly Bruce Arians' system. You don't have to throw it down the field a ton. So I don't think that's a big deal. And I do think he can throw on to run pretty well, which should be an advantage for LA. And I also think that when the NFL game, you know, it speeds up, it goes very quickly. I could see if he sometimes had plays go too quickly in the AAF, I could absolutely seeing it happen in the NFL and that could be a huge issue and that could end up just being like a catastrophe for a quarter or something like that if it happens there is that real possibility but as long as that doesn't happen I think the Rams are going to be fine and I, I think that the Rams I think there's still a really good chance they win this game both teams need it though so it should be very interesting so yeah those that's my thoughts on uh, AAF legend, Arizona Hot Shots. He'll be in the Arizona Hot Shots ho Ring of Honor for sure. Uh, Wolford, uh, you know, fun video. It's fun to sort of break down a guy like this that not many people have heard of. Uh, I, had, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it because uh, I enjoyed making it. And of course, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>